Everyone. I'm Kosh Ikegawa from Hitachi Research and Development Group at Japan. This is my first time to participate in Hyperledge Global Forum. Today, I would like to talk about trust data sharing and utilization infrastructure for sensitive data using Hyperledge Avalon. This is the table of contents for this presentation. Introduction. Demand for trusted data sharing and utilization is increasing around the world. The concept of data free flow with trust called DFFT was proposed at the World Economic Forum 2019. One of the focus points of the FFT is cross-border data flow, such as across countries or across industries. Blockchain is required to realize cross-border data flows. There are many types of data to share, such as many types of open data and many types of sensitive data. Our focus point is healthcare data. Background. We introduce our use case. We created an infrastructure to manage and utilize genome data in multiple organizations and have confirmed proof of concept. In this use case, Multiple organizations are participating in a blockchain network for genome data sharing. A focus point, low genome data must not be passed on to other organizations because the data is sensitive data. Therefore, analyze the data on the processors processor of the data owner organization and pass only the result of the organizations. This figure is an overview of the POS proof of concept we conducted. First, patients agree to use data and provide the data. Organization B doctor stores genome data in genome data storage. Organization A doctor requests utilization of genome data owned by organization B. Organization B's data processor loads specified genome and data and return results. Our motivation is to realize trust data sharing and utilization infrastructure for sensitive data. To realize the infrastructure, personal information such as genome data must be handled with particular care in accordance with the law. We focus on the following three points of trust. One, trust encryption. Two, trust processing. Three, trust data load. Here, we decided to use Hyperledger Avalon. Hyperledger Avalon can enable to trust encryption and trust processing. Oh, sorry, can, can you? Can you see my screen? Yes, we see this one. I can. Ah, okay, thank you. 
Okay, next. Next, we will give a brief introduction to what Hyperledger Avalon is. Avalon is a Hyperledger project to realize off-chain trusted computing. In contrast to calling the smart, contract, smart contracts and data on the blockchain, the on-chain, we lead the area outside the blockchain at the off-chain. Avalon guarantees a trust execution of a program in the protected area by a CPU native secure function called trusted execution environment. We will give a brief action to what execution environment Trusted execution environment is a CPU security function that guarantee, grants a protected area in memory and loads programs and data into the memory, enabling programs to be executed while protecting sensitive data. This technology provided, provided by CPU vendors such as Intel, ARM, and AMD. In Hyperledger Avalon, Intel SGX is for implementation. This is the focus point of this presentation. We enable a trust infrastructure by enabling trust data load. Is design and approach. To enable trust data load, we should solve this issue. That is the infrastructure unable to verify the correctness of data on genome data storage. When the doctor in organization A requests organization B, to analyze the genome data. Organization A doctor cannot know if the specified genome data is loaded correctly. To solve this issue, the, the data when it is loaded into an area protected by Avalon. First, organization B doctor stores genome data. At the same time, the doctor writes genome metadata to the blockchain. The metadata here includes the name of the data, ownership information, and the hash value of the genome data. Organization A doctor refers to the genome metadata and this and search for data that he wants to utilize. If the doctor finds that if the doctor finds the doctor wants to utilize, the doctor writes a request to the data owner in the blockchain for access rights. Organization B doctor there is a request for access rights, and if the doctor approves, the doctor writes the information to the blockchain. If organization A doctor gets the access right, the doctor requests organization B to analyze the genome data. Once the analysis is requested, 
check to see if the requester have access rights to that genome data in the chain code. If the requester's access rights are confirmed, write the task information of the request to the ledger. The written request is read and start processing within our own project area of organization B. The processor loads the specified genome data from the genome data storage. The next step is to calculate the hash value of the loaded genome data. The next step is to obtain the hash value from the metadata that has been written to the blockchain ledger in advance. The processor compares the computed hash value with the hash value maintained in the metadata ledger and performs verification. The processor performs the verification and if the hash value varies much, it performs the passing process and writes the results to the blockchain. By using our own and implementing our approach, we can realize a trustworthy data utilization infrastructure. We introduce our work in progress. We think we can further improve, improve our infrastructure. In the current implementation, only task management, only task management using our own is encrypted. encrypted. But Metadata management and access rights management is not encrypted. Metadata is not needed for encrypting because the data is shared information. But access management data should be encrypted. En encrypt. We think about who requested access should be kept confidential. So we are trying to use Hyperledger Fabric private chain code. Hyperledger Fabric private chain code enable the execution of chain codes using trusted execution environment. We think that the combination of Avalon and public private chain code can make both on chain and off chain more trustworthy. We have started try to use public private chain code and contact FPC community and contribute to FPC. Summary. We introduced we introduced one of implementation to realize a trusted infrastructure for sharing and utilization sensitive data. With our own and our approach, we have made the following three points into a trust.
we are trying to use hyperledger public private chain code make both on chain and off chain more trustworthy worthy thank you for listening this is an presentation thank you Okay, I check Q and A. Right. Hi, Marcus. Um, thank you for your question. Uh, first question. Uh, is there some access control for the again? data also enforced by the blockchain or the Avalon worker. Mm. Now implementation. Uh, let's see. Wait, this right. Uh, now implementation, genome data access rights control is used only frame fabric, frame hyperledger fabric. So, uh, this is answer that, um, we don't use access control. Uh, we don't use our own for access control. And second question is what is the process to agree on the genomic analysis code that is executed with Avron. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, First, we uh, access uh, access control approved uh, organization be doctor approved. The approved uh, access right for organization A is done. Next, uh, organization A doctor request uh, and analyze task. For this uh, request, use uh, Avalon, Avalon, uh, Dr. A 
request a uh, request and uh, share uh, share task information. Uh, org with our own protected area query this uh, task information and next uh, load data and uh, validation validate hash values and analyze it uh, automatically uh, Learn. Mm. Um, is that uh, answer? If uh, you want to more detailed answer, so. I will uh, answer rocket chat. Thank you, Marcus san. And the next question, Oliver san. Question is, uh, I did not get the part how you securely transfer genome data from B to A. Okay. Uh, in this implementation, uh, in this implementation, organization B do not share raw genome data. So organization B share only analysis result data. Because uh, organization B want not share low genome data use case uh, in, in this use case. Any other question? And more. So, ah, Oliver, -san, thank you. So, is then the intention demand from Dr. A? Okay, and Dr. A want to analyze uh, genome data. Uh, Dr. A wants want only analyze analysis results. So you know, for example, uh, in genome domain, uh, the doctor. A want, uh, for example, a cancer genome. In use case, uh, cancer genome analysis. So, in cancer genome analysis uh, use case, Doctor A want to know only. Uh, sorry. I want to 
no only genom uh, chromosome uh, of genom where is uh, chromosome of genom so doctor a want uh, don't want to allow genome data ah uh, okay <laughs> oliver san thank you Any other question? Any other question? Okay. Okay. I will finish this session. Uh, I'm sorry, my English so it's so not good. But uh, thank you very much for share my presentation. Thank you.